FL Noob Zone. Welcome back to the FL Noob Zone, where all your noob dreams come true. Today we will be talking about automation and how it can help you in life. So, what we're going to do first is get something to automate, such as, how about an arpeggiator or something? Could I use here? Yeah, I cannot load citrus for some unknown reason. Ah, there we go. Okay, now let's get some arpeggiator thingy. Sequence? Uh, Eurogate. Yes. So, the key to automation is really just clips. So, what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you. You can automate almost anything in Fruity Loops, okay? So, in FL Studio. Including volume, panning, cutoff filters, you name it. So, I'm going to just put um, some random key chord combination. Not even chords, but it'll just be like, uh, you know... Okay, that is too... For some reason... Alright, so... Alright, there we go. There's our simple little chord combination using citrus. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to load up... Uh, we're just going to put four and if we play those four it won't really sound all that interesting because it's pretty much just doing the exact same thing now what automation can do is if you make a cut if you put it into one of the cutoff filters you can get some neat effects that will keep the listener interested throughout the song so this is one use of automation here um what we'll do is we'll take uh oh, no, no. okay filter one so if you just take a listen <laughs> You know, that kind of crap. So, anyways, so I don't have to turn that knob every time I play the song. I'm going to automate it. Right click. All I have to do is right click on the song, create automation, let it clip. What that does is creates a clip in your playlist that is as big as your current project. So, that would be 16 bars for us. <laughs> so, um, then basically you just use it. Um, click on your automation anywhere and make some neat designs. Now what you can do with some neat things about automation is you can use some of the cool envelopes that F FL Studio has in there. So uh, if you use Pulse, you know, you can get some neat, nifty, uh, like, gating type things going on. Like this, check it out. And then uh, it also has Wave. So, and uh, automation is useful for creating that listener interest impactness or whatever. Um, I really don't like this chord combination. I don't know. What I'm I don't know what I'm smoking here. So, another thing you can do with automation is automate volume. Now, an easy way to do this, you could do this either in Mixer, the Mixer track, or in the channel properties itself, because you have a pre and post effects, basically. This is at, this fader here is after all of your effects, okay? So, after this whole rack of effects, then this fader. This little knob here, the volume knob, is for pre-effects. So, it goes pan, volume, plug-in, generate sounds that goes through your Mixer channel, through all these, your basic equalizer, and then your volume, panning, etc. So, um, yeah, that's what automation is good for that too. So, um, 
one thing automation is commonly used for when you have um when you have an intro of a song you want to get everything in the listener's face if you're doing dance music or whatever so what you do is you use automation to uh keep when you have a more simple arrangement such as you have this trancey thing going on plus you have like bass you know no drums yet you get your drum you get your bass through here or you turn it up for the very start and then when the drums come in you turn it down the listener will still understand that the part is there but they will um it won't be cluttering up the mix so anyways automation basic basic automation that's all you need to know just have fun with it automate everything you could automate master pitch too unfortunately that also automates the pitch of all your drums and stuff so if you want to automate pitch you i recommend you use the channel um, properties itself which is right here if you click on Eurogate or whatever it is pitch knob up down and that's only this two here means it's only going up two semitones so if you want it to go up a whole octave like dun, dun, that's 12 semitones anyways getting off topic here automation have fun with it bye bye FL Noob Zone.